Here we're doing a little bit of scenery in spots that we know that we don't have to go back and touch. So what I do is I, I use a, I get lightweight uh, drywall mud and I take it and work a little at a time. I get me a comb and uh, it's actually a painter's spatula so I can squeeze it in the joints and squeeze it in. And if you work real slow and nice and easy, you can actually carry it across. And then as you come across, you always have a little brush with some water so if you get some stuff in areas that you don't want, you can brush it down. And I just build it in and then I bring it forth. And then as I get for, as I get a little area done, I can actually ta 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 taper to my track bed. I get it tapered to my track bed. Then I come back with my comb. And all this is, this is a painter's comb that, that you can buy at any paint supply house. And you go for it. So if you want stone with, with a little bit of, little, little bit of uh, uh, grade or you want to see the stone coming in there, you just touch it in here and then you let this dry and after it dries you come back and you just hit it with a light little, little wire brush or just a piece of sandpaper to take off the crown take off the top and then that leaves you a base where you can actually touch and you can actually paint or you can start detailing you can put your black areas in with your depth and then you can put your lighter colors on the outside so it gives you that transition of shadow we started up here with a little bit of foam up here we stacked our foam, we filled it in with plaster, and then we just touched it up a little bit with a little paint and a little detail. But that just starts you, and that's where we are when we start doing our detail. And this here you can see and follow us as we go in. And, and, and it just takes a little section at a time. You don't have to get, go too fast or go too far, but just take your time because this way you can pick out the areas that you want to start with and finish your detail. Now, after we've got some of our plaster stuff in, we can take some of our little kit bass scenery. And because we have a major switching section here, when you're pulling a big drag through here, the, the switchman actually will get off the train and he's going to disconnect the cars at certain sections. So he's actually maybe radioing ahead or flagging ahead. So you pick out little details that you want to put in these areas. Now, you might want to have a switch tower so he can actually see forward. If the train is going around the track, he wants to be able to see over the top. Uh, to see exactly where he's going to be. And this is the fun part about it. You place these things in different spots, okay? And, and, and that become, becomes some of your finer parts of putting detail. You, this, this is a part of, the, part of the, the hobby that makes it a lot better, and you can, and you can really enjoy it. Now, now, as we're doing our town of Gary, we have these Walter City Block buildings, and we can actually put them in and put them in areas that we want to. You can move them around wherever you want to, and you want to, you want to actually design something that is going to come, come around in conjunction. You might want to have a street through here with a rail coming behind, and the station be over here, and you kind of bring them around so that you, you can have a, 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 a city. Now these Walters kits are really nice, and they're city block kits, and as you put them together, you can leave them open, detail the insides, put the detail in the front stores when you have tables inside, and we light them. We, and, and that's the nicest part about that, LED lighting and the other lighting that's, that's available. And we can put them in there as we build them. And don't, and don't be afraid to kit bash because kit bashing brings it into your, your, own, your, your, own, your, your own style. One of the things about modeling and, and doing different areas is that you can actually isolate some of the areas where you can make fun and games out of them. Now I told you that Gary was going to be modeled after the John Allen Time Saver game. So what I've actually done is I've actually built into the bench work the control section, which oh, this this is a, it's pre-done. We put all our uh, our switches and stuff on here. There's going to be six switch controls in here. These are Atlas controls under the track switches, and I have a, a selector which will actually put power to the different things. And once we get it in place and we get it wired. We, you, you put stops on it, and there it is. It's hidden under the track. It's out of the way, and you have your game being played in, in, in this area. Uh, it, these are all little simple things you can do. Now remember, uh, we're Iron Horse Trains, and we, 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 we're actually selling Atherton and Roundhouse pre-orders, and they're now available with us uh, uh, online. So remember, ironhorsetrains.com. Come see us, come visit us, and come order from us. Thank you.